Good morning and welcome back to Coffee Time with Corned Beef. I missed you all so much. I'm not going to lie. I really miss making videos regularly. I miss doing these Coffee Time videos. Um, I took a little bit off because I got very, very sick. But, your boy's back. Um, back with another segment. <laughs> of Monday morning news for all of you uh, wonderful people out there. We can all remember how well that went last time, can't we? <laughs> so this is uh, the second segment. I believe just very very glad to be back. I, I couldn't wait to do this again. I'm not going to lie. I could not wait to get back into this. And uh, I should probably be more careful with my coffee or my computer, but... Uh, I cannot wait. To, I, I just couldn't wait to get back into Monday, Monday morning news, uh, which in my opinion is the best news segment that's ever existed, ever. Somebody proved me wrong. Anyway, let's get into it. Very glad to be back with y'all on the morning. So, very special story for you this morning. Very, very just heartwarming and you know just honestly such such a lovely story for y'all this morning that that I really wanted to read first and foremost <sighs> a florida deputy <clears throat> says that a man chugged a can of beer during a DUI stop now this ladies and gentlemen is the hero that this country needs not the one that it deserves but the one that it needs <laughs> absolutely Epic. That's like something that I would do during a DUI stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, hell. You know, that, that shit costs money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, damn, damn cops and damn cops stop you during DUI. You can't just drop it. Just chug that shit. You know what I'm saying? Finish it. Hell. <laughs> you're, you're going to jail anyway. Uh, Authorities say a 48-year-old Florida man raised a can of beer and chugged it after sheriff's deputy stopped him on suspicion of drunk driving. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> Daryl Riedel told Monroe County Sheriff's investigators he was scared when he fled in his pickup truck as a truck as Jesus Sorry, I got some heartburn this morning. That coffee will do it to you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Lopez stepped out of his patrol car Thursday. He drove for a short distance before stopping. He has had three prior DUI conviction, convictions between 2003 and 2010. So he's a pretty frequent uh, DUI uh, perpetrator. And a fourth, a fourth is pending from 2017. The report says Riedel got out of his truck, beer can in his hand, and chugged it right in front of the fucking deputy. Oh man, see, th this is a man that's that's had some experience with with DUI in the past. I mean, he knows what he's doing. He just gets out. You know what? I'm going to jail anyway. What's up, deputy? Turn up for what? <laughs> oh shit. You know, shit, shit like that. Oh, he's in jail without bond. Records don't list a lawyer. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, the hero that this country needs, ladies and gentlemen. You know, that is America right there. You know, that is just... That is America. It, it, it just warms my heart. <laughs> All right. Vows in the air. German couple married in tightrope wedding. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it as well as I am, but I'll show you a picture here. Pretty damn cool. Uh, very, very interesting. I wanted to read about this. A couple in Eastern Germany have gotten married in a swing dangling from a motorcycle atop a tightrope. 14 meters above the ground. That's 46 feet. Uh, the German news agency, blah, blah, blah. The couple exchanged rings in the air, but for safety's sake, waited until they were back on the ground to kiss. That's lame. That's very, very disappointing. Oh, man. They should have just, like, been dangling up there making out. That would have been fucking awesome. <laughs> More than 3,000 people watched the wedding in the sky, which took place during a local festival. 
tire rope was, was stretched between the town hall and a tower, and the motorbike was ridden by Falco Traber, a member of a family of artists. That is, that's crazy, man. That that is really cool. Hmm. Well, yeah, I just wanted to get into that and read that for myself. I don't, I don't pre-read any of these. This is all in ABC News, by the way. All, all the. Uh, all the images and the stories that I'm that I'm reading word for word, ABC News. I did not make these. I have no correlation with them. I, you know, I don't own them in any way. So I just wanted to uh, get that out of the way. Don't sue me. I'm too young to be sued. Damn it! I'm gonna throw my computer over there. I think we learned a lot today. You know, we we saw a a wedding hanging off of a tightrope in the sky and. A true American hero and I think that that's really that sums up Monday morning news perfectly you know that, that's just such such a perfect that this was such a perfect segment anyway guys I'm just really glad to be back with y'all uh, this is a lot of the, this is really a lot of fun doing these Monday morning news things I really love doing this just a lot of great stories coming from ABC News that they, they always post crazy shit like that that's why I love them um, Hope I brought a little bit of light to y'all's morning. I hope y'all are having just a very, very blessed day out there. And, you know, as always, just have have, have a very good Monday. You know, uh, Mondays suck, but make the best of it, you know. Take it easy. Peace. Fuck. Where's my... Oh, there's the stop button. Okay. I'm, <laughs> that didn't happen. Peace.